All right, guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to how to make a quick German schnitzel with hunter sauce. Thank you so much for the support. This is one of those videos that I haven't catch up with, so we're gonna react to it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also for donations, links in the description or super chat will be fine. Or simply just go to the Discord to be part of the community. Thank you so much, man. These videos about German food, very good, very good. Uh, today we're gonna try. Me and my family, we're gonna just add a little bit of, you know. Um, some of these tips that we just find found in some of these videos and see if we can just spice things a little bit all right well no more introduction let's jump in let's see what's going on some whipping cream fresh from the garden some parsley so cream while um it's supposed of, to you, be i noticed that you guys like to use the parsley like this in their natural state interesting the, um cream fresh but i'm That's not really willing to pay too. four dollars for a like, tiny little can of uh cream fresh and i think that the soup cream would just do the same good job on that i have some hungarian paprika powder some salt pepper i've prepared the potatoes already i cut them into fries and soaked them in water for an hour Oh. Also, we will need some breadcrumbs, some Something olive butter. oil or butter if you See, prefer that. See, I didn't that. know that. And I did not know that, that when you cut the potato, you suck them for an hour. It's to get that french fry feel, right? Oh, okay. A little See, bit you, 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 you learn a lot of That's stuff with these videos. Need. Now, I've um, drained the water from the potatoes and um, I have a larger bowl here now. And I will add some oil mm -hmm. to that and some salt. And I will not pretend that this is a German recipe. I don't know. I think that fries come from France since they are called French fries. And the German Good point. word pommes is from, um, from pommes frites, which is French. And there's a lot of pepper. I so guess. I assume that's from France, but it could also be from um, maybe Belgium. Or something. Not sure if anyone That's knows. a strong microphone, huh? So I will take the fries and put them on some kitchen paper here. Kitchen paper. And paper towel. I will try to get them a little bit dry. And then I add them to this larger bowl. Yep. Wouldn't you pick it up and just flip it? Or maybe the paper towel is not that strong? And again, the rest of it. Yep, try them out. I, I think it's because the paper towel is not strong. That's what it is. It's working a little bit. That's why she's very careful. If I pick them a little bit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, there we go. Yeah. Yep. She finally gave in. And then I Mix them up. Clear this and make sure that it is Oh, that's how you do it. Huh? Oil. Can add a little more. A little bit more. Yep, that's it. A little bit more, that's it. And a little more salt. You basically you eyeball it. That's what you're doing, eyeballing it. Oven is already preheating to 425 degrees. She's talking. Uh, she's talking Fahrenheit, okay. not, not Celsius. I will just put them on my baking sheet. And spread them out a little bit. Okay. And homemade fries taste so much better than the frozen yeah. ones. A hundred percent. Juicy, nice, crispy. Oh. She's right. I really like to bake them in the oven. Nothing it's worse it's in this world than eating soggy french fries. Like McDonald's french fries? I don't eat McDonald's, but I remember back in the day, like 20 years ago, when I used to eat McDonald's, that soggy french fry, man, poof, the worst. They're worse. Just some olive oil on it. It's, it's still less fat than if you put them into one of these frying machines. All right, so this will go into the oven once the oven has the right temperature, which would be soon. 
Okay. Now it's time to prepare the schnitzel. For that, I will take two eggs. Scramble them. Yeah. Huh. Very interesting her technique, like you grab it right there uh, all the way to the bottom. Huh. Never try it like that. And I set this aside. Oh, that's the oven. Let me quickly put the fries into the oven. Just a little bit. Maybe a little more. Spread it out on the plate. And I'll take the breadcrumbs and put them on the third plate. All right. So. <coughs> Paprika, right? Is that pepper paprika? I'm, I'm confused now. She used pepper. That's not pepper. You have to no. clip it, right? No? I will oh, you don't put clip this it. with the side that is already prepared into oh. the flour. Put it back oh. here. Yeah, because you make a schnitzel. And then she does it. Okay, yeah, she does it. Now she does the same thing. Okay, got it. A little bit of flour, I guess, right? So there we go. See? The other side. Very good way to explain how she does the schnitzel. That's very good. You see everything? Now you know egg, a little bit of flour, a little bit of that thingy in the, in the right and the left. I don't know what, what the hell is that. Salt, pepper, and a lot of paprika. And that's it. That's it. Keep it simple. There you go. Put it into the flour, not on the other side. Next, oh. I the egg. put this over here. I put it into the scrambled eggs. Both that way it's sticky. And then I put it into the bread breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, yes. Breadcrumbs. Thank you. I went a little big in there. I, I forgot what, what was that. Yeah, breadcrumbs. And back here. The same thing. Same with this one. And the flour. Into the yeah. scrambled eggs. And into the breadcrumbs. Uh -huh. Breadcrumbs. Very good. And I use the plain breadcrumbs. The Italian or anything like that. So next in line. I'll put a little bit more flour, right? Or that Spread you guys think that's okay? Again. Looks kind of chai. Reminder: water. sparking water, folks. Say no to the Coca-Cola and all that soda stuff. Sparking water. Sure that everything is covered with some yep. breadcrumbs. And the last one. Very good hands, right? 
She has very good hands. Okay. So, now since I've already prepared the schnitzels, I am now at the step where I want to fry them. I'll use plenty of olive oil. And you have to do it with oil, man. That's the that thing. To mention that we also need some. That's the thing, man. You have to do it with oil. Oops. Yeah. Olive oil is not the most healthy one. You know, olive oil, if you eat a lot oil or you cook a lot with oil, it's going to cause a lot of cholesterol. Uh, even though it's seed oil. Well, seed oils are not as healthy either. But if you can do like a pan, it was, again, it was not going to be a steak. It's, the breadcrumbs are not going to stick that much. That's why oil, I guess, is the best option in this situation. Had already prepared. Let me know what you guys think. This will go to the sauce a little later. Now I heat the pan. Yeah. Medium, I guess, right? Already? It's already warm. Well, she has 440 degrees. Yes, it has to be burning. Yeah, let's go. Each yes, listen to that sound. Wow. Hot oil. And I will fry them from both sides for a couple of minutes. See if I can fit this all in here. Already a little bit brown on the edge, yes. Just a little longer from that side, and then I will turn them. Let's go so far. Okay, that's good. That looks good, man. Okay, let's take another look. Yes. Oh that my god. Really good. Look at how gold that looks. Wow. No, uh, I'm sorry. The 440 degrees was for the, for the French fries. My bad. 440 degrees Fahrenheit was for the French fry, which is what? 220 Celsius, I guess. Um, and then this is just, you just fry them. Wow. Ah. Nice a little bit. They look very good. The schnitzels look very good. Very nice and fried golden. I think that's what she's looking uh, for. So let's see what else. I'm looking for that sauce. Let's see what she does. I really want to hurry up. Okay. So here, mm -hmm. it's now time for the onions. There, hey. Again, look at that. She's still using the same sauce that where she cooked the schnitzel. Wow. Oil that I used for the schnitzel, which will give the sauce a very delicious taste. Using the same oil for the sauce. Okay. Here we go. Using the same sauce. The German word for onions, by the way, is Sieben. And Sieben are Sieben. something we use a lot in our Sieben. kitchen. It basically means most foods that you can grow in the garden. And onions are very easy to grow. Okay. Are okay, here we go with the mushroom. Golden. Okay, she's looking for that golden color. The mushroom. Mushrooms now. These mushrooms are called champignons. Champignons. So we could 
say it's a champignon sauce. Champignon, like I said, French too. And a lot of our food is, you know, it's, it has names from other European countries and we might have adapted them and only the name of it. Well, it all depends, right? I'm guessing if you live in the west side of Germany, that French influence is coming is coming is gonna come in handy if you live more in the southern west side of the the country maybe a little bit of that italian will come in too it relates to that and reminds us of the origin but uh, since we are also close together i mean germany is essentially smaller than texas um that's why we influence you know we, we get together with our neighbor countries a lot we do our vacations there and i guess in the centuries for we did a lot of um, trading with other countries and that's how we learned new things and mm -hmm. to yeah i agree with her to other regions, regions in europe like right now see something I really do. right right now we're just trading where she's doing this and i'm in wisconsin united states so i'm just getting that information so i get influenced nice about you because you know instead of just fighting each other for centuries we also we also um yeah, learned a lot from each other so it's not all difficult history we also have some very great history because of the things we share Build salt, salt, okay. You might think, wow, she's using a lot of salt. Yeah, 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 a lot of Germans, they love that. salt, man. A lot of Germans, they really, really mean it when they want to use salt. But I'm just human. Mm. Okay, I see. Now I will add some of my cream. Oh. I do not use what the kind of cream is that? And some full cream instead. This will kind of soften the taste. Is that yogurt? Greek yogurt? Zero sugar? I guess so. I guess so. He didn't mention it, but I guess so. That looks like a Greek yogurt. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about this, folks. I don't know about this. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. No, this is not one of the lighter meals. And the German kitchen is not really known to be super light, at least not the traditional food. Ugh. I don't know about that, folks. But it tastes so good. Tastes so good? You taste it? Let this oil for a little bit. Okay, do you taste it? Do it and take a look at my fries. Okay. Okay, it's cooking now. Man, that's thick. So as it turns out, the fries need a few more minutes. And let's do this. And carefully take out the schnitzel so they don't dry out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So now here are the fries. Mm-hmm. And the food is ready to be served. Okay, let's see it. Okay, this is how it looks, folks. This is how it looks. Let's see if you have another angle. Okay, right here. This, I mean, I don't know about that sauce. You have to try it. This is one of those things that it doesn't look, it looks okay, but you have to try it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it looks fine, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that little 
parsley in the top can just make it happen, I guess. But that's a hard one, man. That's that's a that's a tough one. That's very tough, man. <clears throat> mm, but the schnitz, schnitz, schnitzel looks amazing. Looks very good. Say good. Say good. It looks say good. Uh, the French fry, a little bit of ketchup. Um, make sure you you know get that lemon, squeeze it throughout the entire plate. Let it sit there for a couple seconds and then jump in, I guess. But it looks good. It's not bad. It's just that sauce. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Does that sauce really work? Does it really work? I would like to hear you guys' opinion about it. I'll see you in the next one.